Okay, this is going to be a video on how to use Tortoise SVN client for Windows. And SVN is like a repository that holds all your code for whatever you're developing and it tracks like all the changes and revisions you've made and you can go back to previous revisions or you know see what changes you made just in case anything goes wrong or if you want to go back to a previous version or anything like that. Okay, first thing you need to do is go install Tortoise SVN. So open up your web browser and type in Tortoise SVN. Click on the first link, download, get the correct version for you, the 32 bit and the 64 bit version, depending on whatever type of operating system you're using, and install it. Now after you've installed it, you need to do a restart and it'll install. And it's a really cool program. Because it really just shows up in Windows Explorer. And you don't really have to open anything external. So uh, open up the folder wherever you, you want to keep the working copy of your code. Right click. And you can see it right there. It's your Tortoise SVN stuff. And so we want to check out some code from the repository. As you can see it brings up the little dialog box. And I need the URL of the repository and the directory I want to use. So I'm just going to call my directory. Make a subdirectory test. Now I'm going to go to where I need to go to get the secure server address to check out the code and you'll need your username and password probably for the SVN you're going to use. Mine is Google so I get one from Google code. Okay, now just go with your uh, standard options here. Click OK. And we want to create a folder. Okay, and it's asking for me my, for my pad, username and password. Save my authentication. And obviously I forgot. Okay, can get my password. I'm going to regenerate it after I do this video, so don't bother trying to log on and steal any of my code. And also, it's doing the transfer. You can see it right there. Okay. And look, we can see it. And we can see the directories. Guess the little check mark because we see that the check mark means nothing's been changed. So let's open an arbitrary file, add something to it. Oh, and we can see it's changed to red. And if we want to update it, we just go commit and click on it and it'll do its thing. Let's change it back to the original version first. Because I don't really want to actually change the file. And we can just commit it and it'll do its thing and it'll commit it. And you'll probably give you the option to enter a log message or something like that. And that basically is how you use Tortoise SVN. Okay. Thanks for watching.